welcome back to another episode. It's Mel from Nourishment here, and today I'm gonna to be answering your questions in our latest q and I actually posted this picture right here on Instagram. Got an amazing response, so thank you so much to each and every one of you that asked a question. So I'm gonna do my very best to answer them, but please be mindful that I am not a medical professional. I'm basically doing the best with the knowledge and understanding that I have at the time. All of the answers that I'm going to be giving you is based off my own personal experiences, so I hope you enjoy. Veggie Mate asks, how do you make choices for yourself without thinking about what other people that are close to you think, for example, your parents. I, for example, am really thinking about traveling the world with little money where I could travel. But I think my parents want me to study first, which I totally understand. So it makes me a little bit confused what I want. And you already know the answer to that question because all of the answers to everything that you need to know within your whole and entire life is found within so silence the mind and for me on my journey to become my greatest version I meditate or I run or I cycle or I go to Pilates or you know just spend some time with you and your thoughts and the answers are going to come with you you already know what you're going to do and I know what you're going to say and you're probably like oh my god Mel I can't believe you're saying this right now so when I quit my job as a primary school teacher my family were like oh my god this is like your career blah 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 you earn good money and I was like you know what I don't want to do that because I was working seven days a week. I started grinding my teeth. Like, look at this. They're not even anymore. And look at this one. Gone. Jagged, jagged. I basically ruined my teeth from stress. And I got to a point where I was like, I don't want to be like this. And I knew that what I was doing was the right thing for me because I was listening to my intuition. And I really didn't care about what other people said because I knew that I was doing the right thing. Today, people still look at me and be like, oh, what do you do? I was like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. I'm actually creating my own business, which would be launched very, very shortly. And they just look at me like, what are you doing? But I know that this is the right thing for me because my intuition is guiding me. And this is what I need to do. So honey, Listen to your intuition. Styled by Catherine, what a great name. Would you date a meat eater if he was loving and sweet but had no interest in becoming vegan? Okay, let me just quickly backtrack. I have the most beautiful partner in the world which I will announce him on my channel when the time is right. Would I date a meat eater before him? Absolutely, I would be completely open to it. Would I marry a meat eater? Probably not because I want to raise vegan children, but the last part of your question you said but he had no interest in becoming vegan I need someone that's going to be supportive and so do you I'm assuming you need to work out What are your non-negotiables? You know, do you really want to be sitting with somebody constantly that is um, eating meat? And then when you go to kiss them, you're like, oh, you got dead animals in your face lovely, you know does that work for you? Is that something that you want? Work out what's important to you and it's going to manifest within your life. And how did you overcome the fear of calories? Sometimes I'm just so afraid to eat more because I think I'm gonna gain weight. Okay, well for me, I have gained weight and I have lost it and I have finally found my balance. I don't know if I ever had a fear of calories. I never came from a restrictive background. It was more an indulgent because I used to be 10 kilos heavier. So for me, I was always worried about gaining weight. It wasn't really based around the calories. Um, but for me, I found my balance by making sure, like I would have a salad throughout the day and I wasn't just eating a meal of just sweet potatoes because that's what I did for a long time and I got a little bit bigger. I wasn't fat, but I got heavier. Um, and I realized when I balance it out with lots of greens that worked best so find out you know what is your comfort food and how can you change that to be you know so calorie dense so if you really loved um, let's say for example for example lasagna don't just have a slice of lasagna maybe have half of what you normally have and then have a salad attached to it it's just about finding what works for you it's kind of a tricky one, but I highly recommend you watch my video benefits and challenges as a vegan my two year update I've just linked the video right now go to the section where it talks about food because I speak about it in more depth Next question is Cinnamon bun or oh, what a cute name How do you find the motivation to exercise consistent consistently? I struggle with this a lot much love. What a sweetheart. Um, I'm not always consistent 
I am human. I've been exercising about three or four times a week, feeling absolutely amazing. But there are so many different things that I'm finding now that I enjoy. I've just started Reformer Pilates and noticing incredible results. I mean, absolutely incredible. Um, I love yoga, but that slipped. Um, I've just started running, but then that slipped as well too. And cycling, I love cycling, but that slipped too. So really the Reformer Pilates is the only thing that's going well for me at the moment, but that's like my new thing and I don't know. I just find that you find something that you love. That's probably the biggest piece of advice because when you love what you do, then it's not considered exercise. It's like fun. Like uh, tomorrow I'm going kayaking. When you love what you do, it's not going to be like a chore. Because I used to, you know, I hate used to hate going to the gym. And I was like, oh, we're going to drive there and do this, this, and this. The only part I loved about the gym was the sauna. Just find what works best for you. And, you know, for me, it took a little bit of time. Um, but it wasn't probably until like a year or a year and a half ago that I started loving exercise. And just do the very best with, with what you have available. Yeah. Hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Keep making better choices. I will see you next episode. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye, my loves. Have a good day, y'all. <laughs> oh my god, see ya!